Super Mario Party Jamboree is just over a month away from releasing. And over the past week, we've received a ton of new information on the game thanks to the launch of the Japanese website for the game and the playable demo that was featured at PAX West. From Pauline making her playable debut in the series, to more returning minigames from past installments, this Mario Party is shaping up to be one of the best in the entire series. With the confirmed 7 boards, there will be no shortage of partying to be had. But what if I told you there may just be a few more boards hiding in plain sight? Hey internet, I'm Mike Bryce, and in this video, I'm going to go over the possibility of more boards being added, with strong proof featured on the hub screen. After you watch the video, don't forget to comment your thoughts on which boards you think are heading to Jamboree. Anyways, without further ado, let's -a go! Screenshots from Super Mario Party Jamboree show that all the party boards take place on and around one large island. It's believed that players will be able to traverse said island, which will be how the players choose which board they would like to play. If we take a look at the first screenshot, we can see four boards present, being Mega Wiggler's Tree Party, Rollum Raceway, Goomba Lagoon, and Rainbow Galleria. I think it's safe to say that when first booting up the game, only these four boards will be available, with the other three being unlockable. These boards being Mario's Rainbow Castle, Western Land, and King Bowser's Keep. Now these seven boards do help fill up the island, but I think we can all agree that it's still looking a bit awkwardly bare and suspicious. These five spots in particular. Now I have two theories as to why that is. And the first may sound crazy to believe, but it's because there are five more boards featured in the game, most likely through DLC. And these five spots are where the boards are going to be located. Now that begs the question, which boards could possibly go in these spots? Well, for a few of them, I think there's some strong hints for a returning board from a previous Mario Party installment. Let's go through them one by one, starting with this one on the bottom right section of the beach. There's a very suspicious crack on the wall here with what appears to be some sort of green slime oozing out. I think this is strong evidence that the board here is Creepy Cavern from Mario Party 3. I find it odd that we're getting a board from Mario Party 1 in Mario Party 2, but not 3. Especially since it's obvious Rainbow Castle and Western Land were planned as DLC in Superstars, but were scrapped. One has to imagine that Superstars would have also featured a DLC board from Mario Party 3. So there was one board from each of the first three games, and Creepy Cavern would be a great addition. Next, we're going to move just a ways down the beach to this shipwrecked boat. This is the second spot that I think is most obviously another returning board. Now there are three boards I think this could be. Pirate Land from Mario Party 2, Deep Blue Bear Sea from Mario Party 3, or Pirate Dream from Mario Party 5. I'm going to eliminate Pirate Dream right away as it's highly unlikely that Nintendo will add any returning boards that aren't from the first three installments. Pirate Land would make the most sense in terms of the shipwrecked boat, but Goomba Lagoon is way too similar to this board in terms of theming, so I'm actually going to go with Deep Blue Bear Sea. An underwater board would be different enough to stand out from the other boards in the game, and once again, if we are to believe that these returning boards are from Scrap DLC from Superstars, two Mario Party 3 boards wouldn't be crazy as Superstars only had one MP3 board while having two from the other games. Moving away from the beach, we're going to this very odd mountain plateau. This spot here is one of the strongest arguing points for why additional boards are being added. Because why is this even here? It's so out of place to just have this spot with nothing on it. As for what board I think will go here, that's a tough one. Wario's Battle Canyon from Mario Party 1 is a possibility, as it takes place on top of a canyon but there's not enough evidence to sell me on that completely. I honestly think this spot will feature a brand new board that takes place on some sort of mountain range. The fourth spot we're going to look at is the spot with trees. Once again, if this spot isn't something, then why even add it? Why not just have Western Land connect to the map via a bridge closer to Rainbow Galleria? This is another spot that could be a returning map, like DK's Jungle Adventure from Mario Party 1, as it's an area covered by trees, but it's more of a jungle rather than a forest, which is what this spot looks like. There's no other boards from the first three games that I think it could really be, so once again, I'm going to go with some type of new board here. The final spot is the other mountain, and I have no returning board I think this could be. So I'm just going to say I think it's once again going to be a new board. So I know some of you are shaking your heads and rolling your eyes right now at this theory, as that would mean that this game would feature a whopping 12 boards. So now I'm going to go into my second theory, which may be more believable. 
This theory is that once again, the island will be traversable by the player, and that these five spots are locations that the player can interact with. Revealing hidden items, party points, collectibles, or even an unlockable character. This does seem a lot more likely if not only for the fact that seven boards is way more plausible than 12. Plus, it would give players more to interact with on the main hub world. So what do you think? Are you leaning more towards Theory 1 or Theory 2? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, as we are currently on the path to 8,000 subscribers. Your support and love to the channel is much appreciated and does not go unnoticed. Once again, I'm Mike Bryce, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.